Who do you want to pick in your fantasy 11 for match number 44 of this Indian T20 League? It's the Southern Derby, Chennai versus Bangalore to be played in Dubai. Sanjay Manjay, Karshal guide us right here, right now on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Cricket Club. हमेशा की तरह हम शुरुआत करेंगे एक प्रो टिप के साथ भाई पिचेस जो है वो थोड़ी सी धीमी होती जा रही है एंड सो द स्कोर्स आर सॉर्ट ऑफ कमिंग डाउन एंड यू गॉट टू हैव इनफ बॉलिंग ऑप्शंस इन द 11 मिस्टर मांजरेकर मैं सही कह रहा हूं या नहीं <laughs> सही कह रहे हो और एक्चुअली आप मुझे गाइड कीजिए बिकॉज़ यू आर मोर ऑफ एन एक्सपर्ट ऑफ दीस फैंटेसी 11स जैसे आप देख रहे हैं ऐड कैंपेंस में भी हमारा जो एक्सपर्टीज है वो ज्यादा काम में नहीं आ रहा है बट यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट this is the time now to start packing in thoda sa spinners team mein laiye and good players of so bowling ko bhi thoda sa preference dijiye ab jaise hamara gyan bahut sara borrowed gyan hota hai to koi baat nahi aapki jo aapki wisdom hai bahut zaruri hai hamare liye lekin aap sab ke liye wo bhi zaruri hai ki bhai aap is is game ke niyam ko yaad rakhe ek aur reminder is game ke rules ka please note that every user on my 11 circle has 100 credits uh, available to form the team each player has been assigned individual credit values and users have to pick players from four categories batsmen all-rounders wicket keepers and bowlers with a maximum of seven players from one particular team allowed hamare kaptan kaun hai virat kohli bhai india ke kaptan hai lekin hamari 11 ke kaptan bhi wohi honge unki strike rate ke bare mein bahut sari baatein hui 127 ki lekin uske alawa agar consistency dekhe to run to bana rahe 347 run hai sath innings mein including 250 so virat will be our captain chris morris we are backing to be our vice captain he's picked up nine wickets in five games so far that includes a four for his economy this season has been fantastic as well and we believe he lends a lot of balance to the bangalore side and can do so for your fantasy 11 as well so virat kohli chris morris captain vice captain ab devilius features in this list of top picks so he's been in terrific form in the last week or so uh, scoring two match winning 50s in his last three innings three out of his four 50s this season have come at this venue as well Imran Tahir is part of our top picks now he finally got a game after sitting out for 10 games he had a terrific uh, uh, CPL uh, this year finishing as a highest third highest wicket taker he picked up 15 wickets at an economy of under 6 so we believe he'll come good he's hungry to perform CSK need him to do well and uh, therefore he is part of our 11 And so is Sam Curran. He's been the standout player for the Chennai Super Kings. Uh, their joint highest wicket taker with 10 wickets at an economy of under nine scores runs with the bat as well. And uh, uh, Dhoni calls him a complete player, and we've got to have him in the in the 11. So Virat Kohli, Chris Morris, De Villiers, Imran Tahir, and Sam Curran are part of our top picks. Uh, Sanjay, do you agree with uh, picking Imran Tahir as a top pick, or is it an emotional decision? See, he bowled three overs in the last game. Didn't quite make an impression. Didn't get a wicket. So, I'm not sure because this uh, year round we've seen the classical leg spinners like Kuldeep Yadav, Charla had some early success. Amit Mishra did quite well before the injury came along, but they haven't quite made their mark. But as you said, the pitches are getting a little slow. So maybe people like Tahir will start contributing. The interesting, um, you know, thought that came to my mind is how many times has Dhoni got picked? in a csk game in the fantasy 11 this season and one should do a little you know study of how many times he was picked in the seasons before this one we'll find out if he's part of our uh, 11 for now uh, let's focus on the differential picks washington sundar he's picked up three wickets in the power play so far in the tournament at an economy of uh, just over 5 now given chennai's slow starts uh, with the bat in the power play in the last few games sundar could come really good and could pick up wickets devdak parikal um, has impressed one and all this youngster has been perhaps the find of the tournament he's consistently given bangalore starts and we believe you've got to back him in in this game so washington sundar devdak parikal the two differential picks that gives you seven of our 11 and if you look at our 11 uh, the complete look ms zoni does feature as the other wicket keeper alongside ab de villiers we are going in with three batsmen in parikal virat kohli the captain and amit thiraidu and we have uh, four all rounders clearly um, uh, a double edge to these players sam karan chris morris ravindra jadeja and washington sundar and um, the two bowlers yuzvendra chahal and imran tahir only two spinners in our 11 but if you look at our substitutes shane watson chargul thakur mohammad siraj and navdeep saini Uh, has Siraj done well enough to um, warrant a place in in the eleven or not? Sensational performance in the last game. 
something that uh, I thought he deserved over the years. He's been this hard working, very keen kind of cricketer, but has had a an up and up and down international career as well as an IPL career. So whether he'll be able to maintain some kind of quality performance match after match, that remains to be seen. But good luck to him. And, and good luck to Chennai as well. Uh, they've had a hapless, uh, terrible, terrible season so far, and there is a chance that they will keep backing the younger, newer players. And so uh, Chennai looks like, I mean, this is an alternate scenario. They will look to test their bench strength yet again. And so you can wait for the toss before you choose your 11. So think of all that. But guess what? We've got another opinion for you. This is the high risk 11. Let's take a look. So I've made three changes to the team. Um, all three are high risk. Uh, Aaron Finch. Faf to Plessy and uh, Navdeep Sainim come in for Dhoni, Chris Morris and Washington Sundar. So, the primary reason is um, Aaron Finch and Faf are not in form and in T20s, you know, it's always an, always a bit of up and down. Finch also doesn't have a good record against uh, Imran Tahir and Deepak Chahar and I, that's exactly why I'm rooting for him and he is my captain as well. It's a high risk option, so um, maybe um, he could uh, come good against CSK who are not uh, at the best, uh, who's hard not performing at the best right now. Um, Saini comes in for the same reason. He hasn't been amongst the wickets. Uh, I think he has a bigger fantasy potential than Washington Sundar. So he comes in directly for my in my team. Sam Curran is my vice captain. I think uh, Faf is going to be in the runs because he's going to share most of the responsibility up the order now. And Sam Curran could open the batting with Jagadish not performing well in the last match. So Curran has the potential for wickets and runs. And he is in form. You always pick an informed player in fantasy cricket. So yeah, he is my vice captain. And uh, this is my team. There you go then, you've got all possible scenarios and approaches and um, ideas for you to get your teams ready. Go get them ready after the toss, might be a better idea. And for now, thanks so much Sanjay for joining us on My 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket. Thank you.